Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass, and in this video, I'll be going over how you can create TikTok ads for your Shopify store. I'm gonna go over a template process here, so it's gonna make it really easy to create appealing video ads in not that long a time. Make sure you stay until the end of this video, as I'll be going over a free way to easily create product ads for your store that are perfect for TikTok. Before I dive into it, I wanna thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store it's gonna allow you to calculate your profit in just one click here. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for and you can get detailed profit calculations so you can skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. It's also gonna show a ton of different detailed metrics so you can really understand how your store is performing. There's a link in the description to access a 15 day free trial. And I'm also gonna show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. There are many tools out there to create different video ads. There are your more advanced editors that require very expensive subscriptions and I know how to create these as well. There's tools such as Camtasia and other screen recording tools. There's Veed, which is an online video editor, which is also a decent option but I'm gonna show you how to use this video creating technique in just purely Canva alone. Canva is great because it's completely free and they have a lot of pre-built templates which you can then customize to make appealing video ads in not that amount of time. It can be a time-consuming process to learn how to create highly effective ads, so templates are a great way to showcase your products quickly, especially if you're in the testing phase or you just wanna test a few different audiences with different creatives. This can save you a ton of money at the beginning because you create them yourself rather than having to hire a video creator which can be quite expensive, or buying the product and filming your own video ads, which can take quite a bit of time. And so once you create a Canva account, when you log in, you'll just get to your dashboard. Now I have all my dashboards blurred out, or sorry, all my projects blurred out at the bottom. Canva is great because it has thousands and thousands of pre-built templates. Once you log in, you wanna to head to the top right here and click create a design. And so there are tons of templates to choose from, but I'm gonna search TikTok, and that's gonna show me TikTok video. There's also quite a few. I'm actually gonna select e-commerce TikTok in feed, as that's very relevant to what I'm trying to build today. Now the product I'm gonna to try to advertise here is a men's facial cleaning scrub. It's just a random product that showed up on TikTok for me. So I don't have these images downloaded yet. So what I'm gonna do is just screenshot them here just to give me a few images to use in the ad. So once I have this loaded here, we can see there are tons of different pre-built templates here which to use for my TikTok video ad, all of it making it super easy to customize. And they cover just a ton of different niches depending on what you're looking for. So I just searched makeup here to give me several different template ideas. And so scrolling through, I wanna see something with an image background is that's what I'm gonna be using because I don't have any video content or I didn't really search for any. So it's gonna be just a simple product photo app here. So I'm gonna select this one here. This one looks kind of basic and I can probably change the colors here to give it a more masculine appeal as it is gonna be a product advertised to men. All I have to do is select that template. I'm gonna automatically import it here. Then if I click on any of the elements, you can see that the top left is gonna change so I can then go and change the color. What I've done now is I've just uploaded this product image here. I did remove the background so it's a little iffy here on how that looks, but I'll just ignore it for the purposes of this video here. So I'm just gonna replace that. I'm gonna move this one in. Once you hit play here, it's gonna show you the elements that's loaded. So if I bring this element back, I can actually see it has some type of transition. It has these two sparkle elements on top of it. So I'm just gonna remove this here and I'm gonna go then look for a similar transition. So if I click this here and I click animate, this gives me the option to animate different things here. I'm just gonna leave it as rise. So it's gonna be very similar to the other elements. If I go back to the product description, I can see it's a cleaning scrubber. If I take a look at some of the reviews, I'm just trying to get different product description ideas. I can see it's an interesting product and it looks comfortable and easy and gentle on the skin. Let's take some of those words here. I can say gentle men's face scrubber. So just trying to give the description there of what it is. And then I'll leave a question on the top to try to entice the user to check it out. Maybe something along the lines of need a deep clean as that seems to be the benefit of using this scrubber here is you get a deeper clean rather than using your hands. It's a little big here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these top two elements and I can drag it down a little bit just to give a little more breathing room. I do have the issue of this background here. So let's see if I can expand this little shape here at the back to cover it. And then what I'm going to do is change the background here to a lighter color so it's a little less noticeable. And overall for a color scheme here, I'm thinking of a black background with red and white text. So it's going to pop out on the page here. So more of a dark theme with bright colors. So next I'm gonna go here to the color again. So select the background. I'm gonna select this black here. So it gives me my black color. 
I'm going to click on the text next, select it all using Command A or Control A, going up here to the left again, hit a white. I'm going to go a litter lighter here, so not a pure white. Actually, no, I changed my mind. Let's go to a bigger white here. Maybe underline this element. So if you want to do that, you can select Command U or Control U to give the underline. Change the color of this to a red. So I'm just going to search red here, I like that deep red here. And now there is a little tight here with the underline. So if I select all of it using Command A again, I can head up to the spacing section in the top toolbar and expand it a little bit. And that's going to give even further breathing room. Room. Although this crowds this a little bit, so I'm going to drag it down a little bit more. Might make this image a little smaller so it fits in there. I'm going to change this to a white as well. This is going to further remove that background so it looks less of a big deal. Next, I'm going to change these colors here. So I have a red, a white. I don't have too many colors, so I might go for a deep red here. I could even go for a gray as well so it doesn't really stand out. So I'm just going to change all these colors here for everything else in the page. Green, select it here give it a gray, give this element gray here, and then give this element a gray as well. You can see these sparkly elements are still here. I'll leave them and add a little bit of shine. I'm going to underline this deep section as well, searching up red again, and then clicking that there. I'm also going to give this a little more width. Again, I can go to my line spacing and make the letter spacing a little bit lot wider. I like the looks of that a little better. I'm going to move this a little more to the top so it's out of the way and give the yellow a gray. And so if you just squint your eyes a little bit, you can see that these two elements are going to stand out. And that is what I'm looking for there. Now, if I go to the front of this video ad and I press the play button, I can see all my different elements loading there. And that's going to give me a very basic video ad here. This could be great for something like retargeting. Maybe you want to create a bunch of these or you have a product that's doing well and you need to create several variations. And its templates are going to make it super easy to do so there. There's also the audio section. So if you go down to audio, you can maybe throw on a different audio here. And that's going to give you different music. You can also select which part of the song you're looking for by moving this bar at the bottom as well.